Good morning! My name is Chelsea from Teaching in Pearls and welcome to a day in the life of a teacher. So I actually have a very cute um tank top on right now like a dressy tank top but as soon as i walked in the building i was freezing to death so i threw this sweatshirt on and i was just keeping this here basically what i do is i bring um like a sweatshirt for the week <laughs> So I'm not wearing the same one every time, but I'm wearing one consistently the whole week, except this is the first day I'm wearing this, so I guess it'll be my sweatshirt of the week next week too, just in case I get too cold. But today is Friday, don't worry. I've got my coffee and I'm excited because in 12 minutes we are going to have a practice Google Meet. So every single grade level is getting onto Google Meet with their students. It's optional for students, um, but we told them when they were picking up their stuff this week that it was happening. It's an opportunity for the kids to hop on and say hi to their teachers, but really what it is is an opportunity for us to test if our school bandwidth can handle all of us being on Google Meet at one time, hosting different classes because that's the platform we're using for digital learning, which starts on Monday and so if it crashes I don't know what we do but I guess we at least know that it is gonna be an issue and we can address it so I'm gonna hop on the kindergarten class that I'll be working with this Quinn Mester and until then I'm gonna work on my email Schoology all that good housekeeping stuff today there is still material pickup my last vlog was all about I like barely vlog because I was doing material pickup all week and there is time for them to come pick up. So I don't know if I'm gonna go outside and help with that. I honestly feel really good about next week. <laughs> I was just talking to the art teacher about this. I'm like, I have not like planned what I'm gonna do for the big kids. I know what I'm doing for the little kids because I'm doing a lot of singing, books, things like that. But for the big kids who can actually do activities, like I have not planned what I wanna do with them. And I'm just not in the headspace to do it, but I'm not, I'm not freaked out about it. I'm very calm about it. I feel good. I don't know, I shouldn't because it's not planned, but I, I'm not stressed about it. It is what it is. It's very strange to be teaching 100% online, that's for sure. But after seeing the kids in person this week, I'm like so much less stressed. I'm like, oh my God, I know you guys, like you can bear with me, like we'll figure this out together. So Monday morning, I have the whole morning free until I teach, I think second grade, which is around like 10. So I have a couple hours in the morning. I think I'll definitely work some planning then but I also have Monday night I have this weekend maybe something will come to me I just am not in the space to plan for my big kids right now because I haven't even practiced you know like I haven't even had a trial of getting onto a Google meet with students by myself things like that like I don't know so we're just gonna take it one day at a time next week I have my stuff planned for Monday and then my stuff will be ready for Tuesday by the time Tuesday comes and I'm not worried about it for some reason I that's very out of character for me. I usually would be very stressed, but I I just, I think subconsciously I'm so overwhelmed that consciously I'm like, you know what? <laughs> it is what it is, because this is my coping mechanism, I think. Um, but seriously, I, I'm not worried about it. I know these kids, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna catch up the first day. We're gonna go through Schoology and how they access their stuff, and it's gonna be fine. I'm, I'm truly, at this moment, keyword at this moment, not stressed about it. I think it's gonna be fine. But I only have a few more minutes. I'm gonna get ready for this Google Meet. That was so fun. And I remember to turn my ring light on at like the last five minutes. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And they're so excited for school. It was only four kids out of like 20. But like I said, this was just optional. Um, just kind of a test run for us, which apparently it went well. A principal made an announcement. She said we didn't have any issues. They did come in and upgrade our bandwidth last week. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't even really know what that means. But apparently it's the actual physical <laughs> process because someone had to come in and upgrade the bandwidth. I always assumed it just meant like paying to upgrade your Wi-Fi. Like when you upgrade your Wi-Fi to get more gigabytes or whatever, you don't, um, like someone doesn't come in to upgrade it, but apparently a bandwidth is different. I don't know. So anyways, apparently it went well. We're all good to go. And I am excited about that. I have been in the process of adding my principles, my principal and my assistant principal and the homeroom teachers as admins of my music courses because I realized that they cannot see my music course 
the homeroom teacher and that the principal made an announcement asking if we could add them as admins so they can see everything. Um, but I thought, well, I might as well add the homeroom teachers too because I feel like if I was a homeroom teacher, I would want to see what they're being expected to do in their special because you're kind of responsible for them even when they're not in your room, right? So that's what I'm doing right now. No one told me to do this, but I figured I might as well add the homeroom teachers because they just might want to know what's going on. Okay, I think I just completely solidified my plan for K to K and one. I don't want to say K to two because I feel like I can fit in a little bit more with second grade, but for K and one on Monday, I'm going to start with vocal exploration. So I have a bunch of finger puppets and I'm gonna pick one that I like the best. <laughs> Um, but I have like 15 finger puppets, maybe 20. And we're gonna start with vocal exploration. Like very first, as they're logging on something, ooh, ooh, just following the puppet with your voice. <laughs> I don't know why I like, can't talk today, but bear with me. After we're done with vocal exploration, we're going, I'm gonna take attendance, which is gonna take probably a minute or two. And when I take attendance, I'm gonna ask them what they think we should name our puppet because the puppet's not gonna have a name and we're gonna decide on it as a class. After that, I'm gonna teach them our chant, H-E-L-L-O, H-E-L-L-O. This is how we say hello. This is how we say hello. Move your feet to the beat, move your feet to the beat. Can you feel my heartbeat? Can you feel my heartbeat? H-E-L-L-O, H-E-L-L-O. This is how we say hello. H-E-L-L-O, H-E-L-L-O, this is how we say hello, H-E-L-L-O, H-E-L-L-O, this is how we say hello, this is how we say hello. Okay, so you get the idea. <laughs> Um, I teach that to all my primary kids and that's our main call and response that we do. Um, I do it pretty much at the beginning of every single class. It's a good way to get them silent and it helps them find their head voice, find their chest voice, um, find their whisper voice, find their silent in thinking in their head voice. And when we do our big holiday concert rehearsals, which we won't have this year, but hopefully next year we'll be back to kind of normal, all the kids know it. So I'll have a whole room of like 300 students and all I have to say is H-E-L-L-O, H-E-L-L-O, and they know what to do. So that's really convenient to me. So I will still be teaching that to kindergarten even though there's potential that I will never see my kindergartners in person this year. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen, hopefully I do. But either way, I want them to know our stuff so that next year it's not like completely new. So I'm gonna teach them H-E-L-L-L, -L -L, then, then I'm gonna teach them our other call and response. Crisscross applesauce, hands in your lap. We can do anything just like that. I say the first part, they say the second part. And then to make sure that they know our two chants, I'm going to switch back and forth. And what I'm gonna add into H-E-L-L-O is that when I say it, I'm gonna stand up. That's not always the case in the classroom. Sometimes we do it sitting and we just stomp our feet while we're sitting on the ground. But since I want them to dance and move on my Google Meet, I want a cue for them to stand up and I want a cue for when they need to be sitting. So H-E-L-L-O -L -L is gonna be my cue for standing up. So whenever I say that, they'll know that they stand up and then we do the chant and they stay standing. Whereas crisscross applesauce, hands in your lap we can do anything just like that they are sitting by that and that's always how it is in my room so the only thing i'm changing versus what i would do in a normal class is like on h-e-l-l-o i'm gonna make sure i stand up and then they will stand up as they repeat it after we practice those a few times i'm gonna be really silly with those um you know trying to trick them trying to get them to do the wrong one whatever then we're gonna do Pete the cat rocking in my school shoes but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with um echoing I'm rocking, I'm rocking in my school shoes, in my school shoes. I'm rocking, I'm rocking in my school shoes, in my school shoes. And so when, I'll tell them when we get to that part in the book, they need to sing it with me. Yay! I honestly think that's enough for a whole lesson. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but kindergarten does not need a lot. I'm also, the class is scheduled for 30 minutes, but they said like, if it needs to be 20 minutes or so, that's totally fine. So I'm trying to not do too much, but I think this is enough. Oh, I forgot. I have one more very big activity, which I'm gonna switch. 
with Rock and Miss. Rock and My School Shoes will be last. Before that, we're gonna be doing Step on the Beat. Move your feet, do, do. Usually we march around in a circle to this song. Put the beat bum, bum, in your feet. Boom, boom, let's step on the beat. Do, do. Move those feet. I don't really sing it, but I'll play the song for them and we'll do the actions together. Obviously, anytime I'm expecting them to move around the room or dance, I will be doing it with them. It's gonna be very, very strange for me to do that to a video screen. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna end up on some parents' TikTok or something, but you know what it is, what it is. That's what you gotta do for primary, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. So we're gonna do step on the beat and then we'll end with rocking in my school shoes and that is for sure for sure enough stuff and that's definitely what i'll be doing with k and one and potentially two i need to see what second graders are in the class and that'll help me kind of mold my lesson because i'll be like okay they they'll enjoy that or they won't enjoy that because sometimes i just have groups of kids in primary grades who just happen to be more mature um who would prefer more of a challenge whereas sometimes i'll have classes in the primary grades who prefer more like baby stuff which i honestly prefer baby stuff because it's more fun um but i'll see who's in that class and i'll make my decision based on that i still have not made a plan for third grade or fifth grade and right now this is how i'm making my plan you guys <laughs> i'm listing out activities and then changing it so this is my fourth draft but i think i'm i think i'm good the thing this is my fourth and final draft for k and one and potentially two time for lunch i'm having a leftover chicken quesadilla some pita chips and some everything but the bagel dip and edible brownie batter yum and this is a leftover sweet tea from McAllister's a couple days ago i don't know if it's going to taste any good but we took the ice out of it so it wouldn't melt so hopefully it tastes good hi it is now one o'clock i have been in my room pretty much this whole time um and it got cold again put my sweatshirt back on i don't know if you guys have even seen my outfit yet today so oh well <laughs> you haven't i guess i'll show you before i leave Right now, I am planning out my week. I still, I've been working on this today and I still have not decided what I wanna do with my big kids. I don't know. I think it's gonna take me teaching the little kids on Monday to decide what, what I'm gonna start the big kids with. Like I have tons of ideas. I don't need suggestions or ideas. There's just a matter of not knowing where I wanna start. So anyways, I'm planning out my week for next week, making sure I have all my meetings and stuff scheduled so that I know what's happening and I don't have to worry about it this weekend. Okay, so I think this is gonna be my setup for primary. I'm gonna have an iPad pulled up, signed into an account because if I am sharing my screen here, which is my main place I'll be communicating, then I can't see the class. So if I'm sharing my screen and I wanna see the class, I'll probably have this pulled up, but I will be sitting this way. Let me look up, it's gonna look like this. <laughs> Um, so just in front of my boom whackers, but I wanted to sit, I'm not going to sit on the floor, but I wanted to sit like crisscross with my legs, which I guess you can't really see. Try to, <laughs> try to push it back a little bit more. Um, crisscross. Oh, just so I can show them like, okay, crisscross applesauce hands in your lap and kind of give them, <laughs> that's an odd angle, give them an example of that. But I'm going to sit here because this is where I sit for school typically. Um right here in this little chair is where i sit if i'm not walking around and i want it to be as normal as possible although kindergartners wouldn't know but we're going to be getting up and doing mu movement activities anyways but what am i going to do when we actually are doing movement what am i going to do i guess i'll have to do this i guess i'll be like okay here we go and then put my laptop here and then i think they can see me oh oh no did it just leave the meeting oh no oh wait okay we're still there Okay, so if I put my laptop here, okay. So if I put my laptop like there, also that picture fell down again, dang it. If I put my laptop there, they get a full body. So move the beat. <laughs> Let's step on the beat. Perfect. I am definitely gonna get made fun of by parents, but that's okay. Uh, it's okay, you guys, this is my life. Hi, welcome to it. Here's my cute outfit today. I actually really like it. Um, so this is a really, really old tank that I've had. It's really nice material. I don't know what kind of material it is, but it's really nice. It has this cute little tie, and I have my Tiffany necklace on, my ripped jeans, and these sandals, which I think are so cute. And they're actually 
very comfortable, so. Friday fit. I'm currently getting my mom to sign into my other Google account from where she's at to see if when I'm singing along with the music you can hear me. Because I don't know how to test like this. Sign in. Hang on. That did not help and was very much more frustrating i'm very frustrated right now and i don't know how to check this or fix this <laughs> okay brandon came to the day came to the day oh and Gigi. oh she's barking we're falling apart over here <laughs> he was able to help me and we came to the conclusion that it kept freezing whenever i was trying to sing along with the music playing away from the camera but if i was right in the camera it was fine I don't know, but I'm not crying anymore and I did almost start crying right before this, so that's yeah. good. <laughs> Show them what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness I figured that out. I feel so much better. I got so frustrated when my mom and I could not get things to work um but luckily brandon helped me figure it all out and i feel better now i feel okay i feel ready for monday <sighs> that was very stressful i'm glad i took care of that before monday so that i know what to expect but yeah it seems like there's a lagging issue when i am playing an audio and trying to speak over it and i'm not right in front of the computer when i was right in front of the computer speaking over the audio it was perfectly clear when i moved back to like here and spoke over the audio, it was freezing, freezing, freezing. And Brandon thinks it's just because maybe it's working harder to pick up the extra sound, we don't know. But I I don't know how I'm gonna go about it on Monday, because I, really I really only need it for Step on the Beat. Step on the Beat just isn't as fun if it's just me and a drum. Ugh, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna try to speak over it and, because it did work once, it just didn't work two out of three times. So I'm gonna hope that it works for kindergarten, first grade, second grade. If it doesn't work with the first class, if it's laggy, then I just won't do it that way for the other classes. But practice that, figured out my screen sharing, everything. Like I'd already figured this stuff out, but I wanted to actually practice with like an audience person. And honestly, I'm, I was too embarrassed to ask a coworker because <laughs> what I'm doing is kind of embarrassing. I don't get embarrassed to teach music to students, but I get embarrassed to teach this kind of silly, um, silly stuff to people that are my peers. That is kind of <laughs> embarrassing for me. Um, not with my family or Brandon, but just like I didn't really want to bother a coworker and be like, hey, can you get on Google Meet and I'm gonna sing a song and do a drum and walk like this and see if you can hear me? Like that's <laughs> just, I don't know. I just didn't want to do that. And so I'm very glad I didn't have to do that. And I figured it out. I'm not frustrated anymore. Actually, I am because I'm just frustrated because I don't want to start school this way. But I'm going to get over it. I am going to make most of it on Monday. But it is really, like, heartbreaking that this is how I have to teach right now. Like, I don't like this at all. I'll be honest. Like, I would never choose this over a normal setting. Kudos to you if you teach virtual music and you did before COVID and you like it, thank goodness you do because it's not for me. So someone has to do it and I am not that person. I'm gonna make the most of it for my students, but this is never something I would seek out for myself. I do not find it fun. I do not find it encouraging. <laughs> I do not find it motivating and I don't enjoy it, but I'm gonna make the most of it for my kids because they deserve that. And hopefully this won't last the whole year. If it does, 
obviously I'll do what I have to do. Hopefully I get to see them in person at the end of September, which is our supposed hybrid date would be September 28th. So hopefully by then numbers decline, it's safe to come back to school and we can be in our masks together instead of me in my room by myself working with technology that is flaky and flawed and not equipped for everyone in the world teaching over it <laughs> right now at the same time. Anyways, sorry to end the video whining, but if you're a teacher, you get it. If you're not a teacher, then save the negative comments because you don't understand how frustrating this is for those of us who really, really, really love what we do and we don't get to do it in the right way. And it is really frustrating. I don't know why I'm like, getting emotional about this it's like not that big of a deal but it's just annoying especially because we're doing this whole quinmester thing so these kids i'm seeing this is their only music for the first seven weeks so i feel like that's a lot of added pressure to like make it a good experience i'm also like vlogging in view of a hallway so hopefully no one looks in but i just feel so ill-equipped and the crazy thing is I'm good at technology. I'm really good at technology. My other job is solely dependent on social media and technology. So I can't imagine how other people, especially older teachers feel like this just stinks. Can everybody, can you guys just please wear your masks and stop going to parties and stuff so <laughs> that I can have a normal classroom because that would be great. I'm gonna end this here. I think I've been holding this in because it's just been kind of one thing after the other the past few months. And so it's good to release your emotions sometimes. And it's healthy to cry. And I'm going to normalize crying in my classroom because I do it every year. It happens. I'm assuming most teachers do. <laughs> we just don't always put it on the internet for everyone to see. So I'm going to go get my nails done because I ripped a bunch of them off because I was so anxious the past couple days. <laughs> So I'm gonna get them fixed. My guy is gonna be like, what did you do? <laughs> like, I did a number on them. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go have dinner with my mom and Brandon and I'm gonna enjoy a nice unplugged weekend. I am ready for Monday. It's gonna be what it is. I've spent a lot of time preparing for these digital lessons. We will see how they go. They might be great. They might completely fail. Maybe no one will show up. I really don't know what to expect. But I will of course bring you on the ride with me. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see how my first day of school goes. And hopefully I don't cry again for a while because I just <laughs> need to get my life together. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you feel bad for me. <laughs> but seriously, can we normalize like it's okay to be emotional because it is and i hope you guys are not crying i hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are